Okay, now we come to the last part of this chapter of this, this topic that is LCM and HCF of polynomials. Right? Very simple, it is, it is, it is uh, based on factorization. Let's say if I say find HCF of x square and x cube, right? Now see, x square is equal to simply x into x x cube is equal to x into x into x. Look at the common part. Now, whatever maximum common it is, that will be the HCF. So, it is x square. And what is, what is, uh, let's say, uh, HCF and LCM also. So, what is LCM in this case? In case of LCM, the common part has to be taken only once. So, x square into the remaining part everywhere. So, x, so it is x cube. Now, this was very simple. Let's take another example. If I say, Find HCF and LCM of, let's say, x square minus 5x plus 6 and x square minus 3x plus 2. Now, what we need to do is, first we need to factorize. So, x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to x square minus, say, 1 into 6 is 2 into 3, so it is 2x, minus 3x mi plus 6 and this will give us x minus 2 into x minus 3, right? The other one that is x square minus 3x plus 2, you have to factorize it. So, 1 into 2 is 2 and 1 plus 2 is 3. So, it is x square minus 2x minus x plus 2. So, this gives us x minus 2 into x minus 1. Right? Now, look at this. HCF will be the total common part. Now, what is common here? x minus 3 is not common. x minus 1 is not common. x minus 2, x minus 2, they are common. So, HCF is only the common part or written only once. So, just x minus 2. This is the HCF of these two polynomials. So, I repeat, whatever is the common thing, just take out, only that common thing is the HCF, right? Now, what about LCM? Now, LCM is that common thing taken once and everything else. So, whatever remains, just take everything. So, here x minus 2 is common, we have taken it once. Then x minus 3 from here, okay, and x minus 1 from here, right? So, this is the LCM. That's it. There is nothing great about this situation. So, whatever is common will be taken as HCF just once and LCM will be the common thing only once and everything remaining that is there will be multiplied to that. Okay. So, this is what we have for LCM and HCF and the further rule of LCM and HCF will apply to this also. If there are let's say two expressions, expressions E1 and E2 and there HCF is H and LCM is L, then the rule that is applicable here also is E1 into E2 is equal to L into H, right? So, this is a very important rule that is applicable for numbers as well as expressions also, okay? Now, let's take a couple of questions on LCM HCF and then we will wind up this chapter, all right? All right, now let's take up some questions for practice for LCM HCF of algebraic expressions or polynomials. Uh, let's take up the first question. We have to find HCF and LCM of these two expressions. Let's first simplify them. The first one is equal to, actually, if you see, take A common. The first step was to factorize. So, first you factorize the first one. If you take out A common, it will give us A square plus 2A minus 3. Now, here this can be factorized as A into. Now, this 2A can be written as A square plus 1 into 3 and 1 minus 3 minus 1 is 2. So, it is 3a minus a minus 3, right? So, it is a into a square plus 3a will give us a common. So, it is a plus 3. Then minus 1 common, so a plus 3, all right? So, we have a into a plus 3 into a minus 1. This is the factorized form of the first expression. Now, the second one, again, we have a common. So, we'll be getting 2a square plus 5a minus 3. Now, 2 into 3 is 6 and the difference has to be 5. So, it is 6 into 1, right? So, a into 2a square plus 6a minus a minus 3. We have done the factorization earlier, right? So, from there, we, we are doing it like this. So, it is a into, now from 2a square and 6a, 2a is common and we are getting a plus 3. Then minus 1 common, again a plus 3, right? So, we have a into a plus 3 completely out and 2a minus 1. 
right now look at these two expressions carefully and see what all things are common right i hope you can see very clearly the whatever is common will be the hcf so hcf here is equal to now a is common in both so it is a a plus 3 is also common in both so it is into a plus 3 so a into a plus 3 is the hcf right and then lcm what will be lcm now lcm is whatever is common in both will appear only once in lcm so a is common so it will appear only once a plus 3 is common so appear only once then whatever remaining right will take everything so a minus 1 will also be a part of lcm and 2a minus 1 will also be a part of lcm so the lcm is a into a plus 3 into a minus 1 into 2a minus 1 whereas the hcf was just a into a plus 3 all right so whatever is common to both will be the hcf in lcm the common part appears once and whatever remains will appear as it is all right so let's take up one more example on this now let's take up the second question still the same thing find hcf and lcm first let's factorize now this is slightly different it is 4u square minus 9v square this can be taken as 2u whole square minus 3v whole square and then we know x square minus y square is x minus y so 2u minus 3v into 2u plus 3v right and the second one here it will be 2u square minus 3v so take u common so it will be 2u minus 3v that's it i think you cannot go further so very clearly you can see the hcf is the common to both now the common to both is 2u minus 3v so hcf is 2u minus 3v that's it all right and lcm will be equal to whatever is common to both appears once so it is 2u minus 3v into whatever remains comes everything so it is 2u plus 3v right from the first one and u from the second one so this is the lcm of this situation all right let's take one more example now in this third question we have m square plus 9m plus 20 and m square plus 13m plus 36 we have to find hcf and lcm so first step factorize here it is 1 into 20 20 is 4 into 5 4 plus 5 is 9 so it is m square plus 4m plus 5m plus 20 right so this gives us m common m plus 4 and then 5 common m plus 4 all right so it is m plus 4 into m plus 5 okay now the second one it is m square so 1 into 36 that is 4 into 9 right so it is 4 plus 9 is 13 so it is m square plus 4m plus 9m plus 36 so this gives us m common into m plus 4 plus 9 common into m plus 4 so finally we have m plus 4 into m plus 9 all right so hcf of these two expressions the thing that is common so m plus 4 is common so hcf is m plus 4 and lcm is very clearly whatever is common should come once so m plus 4 into m plus 5 from here and m plus 9 from here so it is m plus 5 into m plus 9 so lcm is this whole thing all right so i think this is a good sufficient example for uh, calculation of lcm and hcf now let's take one peculiar example on the property of lcm and hcf now this is a very important property of uh, lcm and hcf of any two things now any two things means the two things can be numbers or polynomials right the property will be that the product of lcm and hcf is equal to the product of numbers right so memorize this product of lcm and hcf has to be equal to product of numbers now on the basis of this let's take up one question it says if hcf of two polynomials is 2u plus 5v and their LCM is 3u into 2u plus 5v into 2u minus 5v. And one polynomial is given 4u square minus 25v square. Then find the other polynomial. So we'll just apply this formula. LCM into HF is equal to A into B. Right? So here, in place of LCM, we will put this whole expression. That is, so LCM into HCF is equal to first polynomial polynomial 1 into polynomial 2 right so what we will do is in place of lcm we will write 3u into 2u plus 5v into 2u minus 5v this is the lcm into the hcf hcf here is given as 2u plus 5v we'll put it here 
टू यू प्लस फाइव वी शुड बी इक्वल टू द फर्स्ट पॉलिनोमियल इज दिस वन फोर यू स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव वी स्क्वायर फोर वी स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव वी स्क्वायर इन टू द सेकेंड पॉलिनोमियल लेट्स कॉल इट पॉलि टू right now here what we can see is that if i simply multiply 2u plus 5v and 2u minus 5v this will become let's say it is 3u into 2u plus 5v into 2u minus 5v will become 2u square that is 4u square minus 5v square that is 25v square into 2u plus 5v is equal to 4u square minus 25v square into polynomial 2 right as you can see this whole second part is divisible 4u square minus 25v square is completely divisible so what we get is second polynomial is equal to polynomial 2 is equal to 3u into 2u plus 5v 3u into 2u plus 5v if you wish you can open it and you can write it as 6u square plus 15uv but in any case this is the answer of this question right and it was based on the simple property that lcm into hcf is equal to the product of polynomials and this is applicable for any two numbers any two items any two polynomials all right